Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It is Christine with Gage Girl Training, an online meal planning and coaching service. Today is Sunday, June 16th and I am getting ready for the six week summer shred starting tomorrow. The most important part is to meal prep. I'm going to be meal planning for the entire week. I am following a menu from the Latin Shred menu too, and I'm gonna be making some slight adjustments to this, but I'm gonna show you guys my grocery haul, what I'm prepping, and taking you through it step by step so that way you guys can have some of my insider tips on how to get set up for your summer shred. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so I started off with protein. I have some salmon here and some chicken thighs. I'm going to be making two sources of protein in bulk. This is going to make my life very easy. I'll show you guys how this works out with the macros. I essentially have a total of three protein sources that I'm going to be using for this shred. Along with the chicken thighs and the salmon, I'm actually using Chobani's non-fat plain Greek yogurt. I'm going to be using this as my meal one. I got them already pre-portioned in these 5.3 ounce containers. My meal one has this with some fruit. I got some mango slices, string beans, asparagus, jalapeno peppers. Now for the jalapeno peppers, pickles, the La Croix, the this tea, this watermelon lime zinger, as well as this green tea, ginger tea. These are like all part of my free food stash. I'll show you guys how that's gonna work. I have some strawberries and grapes, along with one simple carb, which is rice. So I'm going to first start by preheating the oven. I'm gonna get the rice cooking while the oven is going. I am going to debone these chicken thighs. You do not need to debone the chicken thighs, but I like to because I like the way the chicken tastes when I take the bone out because I cook them differently. So I'm gonna get ready to cook the salmon and chicken at the same time while the rice is cooking. And then I'm going to prepare the portions of the veggies. I'm gonna portion out the fruit and show you guys how this all fits together. Now you guys, I have a rice cooker. I'm being lazy. I just took dry rice. I put it in a bowl. I'm gonna rinse the rice. And then I'm going to put a certain amount of water on top of the rice. I'm going to measure it up to this part of my knuckle. It's a Filipino trick put it in the microwave for 20 minutes and let it cook. I will portion it out once it is cooked, but that is the step and process for how I get the rice going. And in the meantime, I got the oven preheating at 350. Now this is a microwave safe bowl. It is some rice in here and I did not measure this. All I did was take rice and I put the water in here up to the tip of my finger and that's essentially it. I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 20 minutes. So the first step, I'm gonna prep the salmon first and then while the salmon's cooking, I'm gonna get the chicken going. Just lined a tray here with some foil. I'm gonna spray it with some olive oil spray so that the salmon doesn't stick. I'm gonna season it with the herbal seasonings of my favorite choice and get it going. Guys, the lighting's a little tricky here, but I took half of the salmon, and on one side I seasoned it with the everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. You don't need to use this, you can use whatever you want, but that's what I used on this side. And then on this side I used Trader Joe's Chili Lime seasoning blend. This stuff is life. So you can see there's two different things. I'm gonna get this going in the oven at 350 for probably about 35 minutes-ish. And then once this is all done, I'll show you guys how I handle it. All right, guys, I am preparing the chicken thighs. You do not need to debone them. It is a step that I like to do. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So here they are, skin. Now, the way I'm setting up the macros for my menu too, I'm making some substitutions. I'm keeping 
the skin on. I'm doing some manipulations. I'll show you guys what all of that looks like in a moment here. But I'm just removing the bones, just like this. And the reason I like to remove the bones is because when I put them on the sheet, they lay a little bit more flat and they get crispier. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to. I'm just taking each piece and leaving it as such. All right, guys, so I deboned a bunch of chicken thighs here. I sprayed some pans. I'm going to put these on the pans and season them. In the meantime, I have my salmon just about done and I put it to broil. You can see, ooh, I got two types here. I'll pull it out in a moment. All right, guys, so I have the chicken thighs laying flat on these pans. Notice how flat they're laying. I'm about to season them with some herbal seasonings. You can season them any which way you want, but just check that out. They're gonna get really nice and crispy because I was able to expose a lot of skin and lay them super flat. Now, once I'm done with this, I have the salmon in there. I'm going to take all of the chicken thighs and all of the salmon. I'm gonna put all of it in here in this big container. This is gonna make it family friendly so that way anyone in the family can have some. Anyone in the family can have some salmon. And I, when I'm ready to eat it, I'm just gonna take my portion out and weigh it and show you guys how I do that with the rest of everything. Now excuse the lighting in here because it's got some indoor lighting. This does not do this salmon any justice. This is the chili lime seasoned salmon on this side. This is the sesame seasoned salmon. Now, if you don't wanna use your oven, you are welcome to use your grill. Use the herbal seasonings of you, that you wish. I don't get too crazy, you guys, about counting the macros from seasonings. It keeps me on track with the flavors, but this is done, and once this cools off, I'm gonna take all of this and put it over here and store it until I'm ready to eat it. All right, guys, I'm using two seasonings here for the chicken thighs. I'm using cumin. This gives it kind of like a Mexican vibe. And I'm using this seafood grill and broil. Now I know it says seafood, but I love the Spice Hunter. If you guys have never worked with their stuff, it's awesome. It is salt free, um, very good stuff. This is essentially, let's read the ingredients, see what's in it. It's just got a really nice herbal blend. Okay, brown mustard seed lemon peel, black pepper, onion, chili pepper, celery seeds, bay leaves, basil, fennel, bunch of fun stuff. One last ingredient, I'm gonna take this garlic salt from Trader Joe's and just grind it over top of everything. For the chicken thighs, I turned up the oven to 400 degrees. You can see I just got it here. We're gonna leave it in here for about a good 40 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna broil it. All right, I just rinsed out a big bowl here. Now, for my veggies in my meal plan, I measure them out raw. So what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm gonna take a bunch of veggies. I purchased some zucchini, some green beans, as well as some asparagus. And what I will be doing is I'll be rinsing it all, chopping it all raw, and portioning it out raw. And what I'm going to do is I'm only going to cook it and saute it right before I eat it. So you will see the raw portion ready to go to be um, cooked right before I eat. I do not like pre-cooked veggies. They get a little funky. This is just how I actually eat it. So I'm going to do a medley of these veggies rinsed, raw, and measured, and that way you guys can see how I do it. All right guys, so I took three vegetables, I chopped them up, I took string beans, I took some asparagus, as well as there is some zucchini in here. I chopped up all the veggies, I'm gonna take all of these raw veggies, I'm going to rinse them, and then I'm going to portion them out three ounces at a time, because that's how much veggies I'm gonna be eating for my lunches and my dinners. You can add more, you can add spinach if you want, but that's how much I need for my macro goals. And I'm going to just either steam them or lightly saute them in a 
a nonstick pan with some um, olive oil cooking spray. But this is how I do it. I just picked some veggies that were on sale that I was in the mood for, and I'm going to have a little veggie medley blend. All right, so time to weigh. I got my food prep scale here. It's set on zero. I'm gonna take one of my containers on here. You can see this weighs about an ounce. I'm going to tear it. Make it weigh zero. So like I said, I'm gonna take my veggies here and weigh them out three ounces at a time and prep it into all of these containers. So let's see what three ounces looks like. And remember, I'm weighing them raw because they change when it's cooked. That's two ounces, 2.9, three. Okay guys, at 3.1. Take a little something out. There we go, three. So that's three ounces of veggies, you guys. Again, you can add some more if you want, but that's just what I need. So this is just helping me plan it out. I'm gonna take and fill all of these containers with three ounces, and then I'm gonna just keep this in the fridge in the raw form. So that way, when I'm ready to eat, all I need to do is just take these and either steam them or make so they're fresh, because I want this to last all week, so. Just stay tuned, I'm gonna prep all of these containers. All right guys, ta-da, I have all of my veggies prepped, raw and portioned out, ready to go. I'm gonna cover these up. I'm prepping my rice right now, I'm portioning it out. I'm cooking the chicken thighs. I'm gonna show you guys um, how I portion out breakfast next. I am planning everything, leaving nothing to chance. All right guys, so now I'm meal prepping breakfast. Doing this last because I got the chicken in the oven still. Now this is dedicated to those of you who need something easy, breezy, and on the go. I teared out the scale. I have strawberries, grapes, and mango right here. Now this is from the Latin Shred menu number two. The way I've organized breakfast for that um, menu is I have two ounces of mango, two ounces of strawberry, two ounces of grapes, and I have a of Chobani non-fat plain Greek yogurt with it, and it's pre-portioned out into these 5.3 ounce containers. So I'm gonna prep up the fruit, but then in the morning, all you gotta do is take this Greek yogurt right here and blend the two together. So all I'm doing is the fruit. Now guys, with this step with the fruit, you don't really need to, um, you, it doesn't have to be fresh. I went for fresh because I was in the mood for fresh, but you can use frozen. And I'm gonna be using two ounces of each one because that is what the menu called for that I am following. Now, you can use whatever you like. That's two ounces of strawberries. I'm going to add two ounces of grapes. Now I'm checking it on the scale, that's 2.9, okay. Now I just need to add the mango. I chopped it up finely, 4.5. Five point one, so it's all gonna add up to six ounces. Five point three, five point four, five point eight, six ounces. So guys, this is what I'm gonna be eating for breakfast. Now I want you guys to take a good look at the portion of the fruit. Now the Greek yogurt, you're just gonna add this on top of this so you can prep this on the go. Now, menu two on the Latin shred also calls for almonds. I'm omitting the almonds and I'm actually boosting my protein portion, my protein and fat portion in my lunch and dinner. So I'm skipping that. I'm just going high protein and higher carb for breakfast. So that's one option. I'm gonna to continue to prep out all of these. So that way, all I gotta do in the morning is grab one of these Greek yogurts and one of these fruits. You can vary the fruit if you want, but based off of the macros I'm following, I need six ounces, 
So two, two, and two. All right, YouTube, so all of the fruit is pre-portioned out for the morning breakfast par phase. You can see I got it all here again, two, two, and two. Now you see I have some leftover mango, some leftover grapes, and some leftover strawberries. I'm gonna take all of that, I'm gonna put them all in individual freezer bags and save them for smoothies in the future because I bought extra, a little bit more than what I needed. But again, I'm gonna have this in the morning. I'm gonna to toss one of these Shobani's non-fat Greek yogurt. That's what I built this meal plan off of. And like I said, this is from menu two of the Latin Shred. It is a Mexican breakfast parfait. I'm leaving the almonds out, again, to make some modifications for this specific menu because I wanted to have some salmon and chicken thighs, which have more fat, and I'm taking the fat from the almonds in this breakfast here. So I portioned out my carbs for every meal. I'm going to need four ounces with every meal. I already pre-portioned it out, so this way I can't get into any trouble, and I tend to get into trouble with rice. So I didn't write anything and date it on here, but this is already pre-cooked white rice. I portioned it out exactly, so that way, see the thing is you guys, I'm going to be eating from home, so when I assemble my meal, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to either microwave this or put it in the pan. I'm going to serve it with this and I'm gonna go to my container over here. This is my salmon, I have the chicken cooking, and assemble the meal on a plate and eat like a real person. But this is how I'm doing. You guys don't have to be this exact for everyday regular life, but I got goals and I'm shredding this summer, so this is how I go about doing it. Sometimes I get hungry for an extra snack, so what I'm doing is I'm taking some fresh jalapenos, I'm going to put them in some apple cider vinegar and slice them and put them here in these jars I'm gonna slice some pickles and put it in there as well. I'm gonna add that as a little extra snack on top of my, my foods in case I want anything. I love salt, I love spice, I love this. This is a free food. You do not have to do this. This is just something I like to do for myself. If you're on keto, you can't do this. But if you're on a regular plan, you can. Love, love, love pickles, love vinegar, love this flavor profile. Try this if you like it. All right, so I just made my first jar. I chopped up some jalapeno peppers. I left the seeds out of this one because I don't want this one to be spicy. And I sliced the pickles just like that and I topped it off with some apple cider vinegar. The pickles are gonna, uh, the jalapenos are gonna be nice. And you can do this just with plain cucumbers and add garlic and all kinds of stuff. But I accelerated the process by getting already pickled pickles. But I'm doing this, you guys, because sometimes I like having just like a little bit of like a, a dill-ish relish. Um, as like a side that's virtually calorie free to add. So I'm gonna like fill all of these up and make that as something when I'm feeling a little snacky. All right guys, so this is gonna be my little special snack. You don't have to do this, but if you got a salt tooth and you like this flavor profile, which I love, make, sit, make your life easy and have this. It's a fun little thing. Now if you grill meats, if you grill burgers, if you grill anything, this is just an awesome side to go with it. I don't like the bread and butter pickle flavors. I love like a dill spicy flavor. So check it out. All right, I have a puppy supervising. What do you think, baby? Did I do a good job meal prepping? Did I do good? Did I do a good job? Thank you for supervising the meal prep, baby. Thank you, puppy. So back to business. Chicken thighs are done. I do want to add one thing. They just came out the oven and I did just broil them. Sorry for this horrendous like yellow tinge to the light. Um, I did something. So about halfway through, there was a lot of water and fat coming off of the thighs. I dumped it into the sink so they can dry out and get crispy. These are super crispy and delicious. And what I did, you guys, this is going to be my protein source for dinner or lunch and I'm going to take all of these all of the thighs and I'm going to put it right in here now here's my, my meal prep strategy I already prepped the salmon which is here the thighs are going to go here so then when it's time to eat my breakfast or lunch I have some fresh veggies you can either steam them or saute them in a pan real quick I have my rice here already portioned out and this is where I get into trouble you guys this is where I get into trouble I need my rice portioned out because I can eat some rice and then that's it guys I got some La Croix I got some green tea and I got some of this watermelon lime zinger tea free foods 
drink a gallon of water a day. But there you have it, guys. Join me on the Six Week Shred Challenge. Link below. If you got questions, comment. I hope you guys enjoyed this full meal prep video. I will also be showing you guys another video of my day one check-in, my measurements, and everything. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.